welcome to Crafty Becky Tutorials. I'm Crafty Becky, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be making lunchbox note printables. Lunchbox notes are a great way to show your child that you love them when they get their lunch each day. They're really easy to make. There's actually many searches on Etsy, you know, for lunchbox note printables. And please subscribe to be part of the Crafty family. If you're already a Crafty family member, please give yourself a big hug from me. Okay, well, let's get started. So this is my search tool, Sell Samurai, and Lunchbox Notes for Kids. Lunchbox Notes is getting 7,670 volume searches a month. And um, let's, so Lunchbox Notes are pretty popular. Then if you look on Etsy, let's search for lunch, Lunchbox Notes printables. There's all these Lunchbox Notes. I actually purchased some Lunchbox Notes on Amazon. They were already printed and it was like $25, but you can get lunchbox notes printables. You can just print them out yourself. And there's ones with jokes and just different things it says. And they're selling for like $12 and this is like $3 for these are Halloween lunchbox notes. Like those are cute. And then we got lunchbox jokes and that's um, $2 each. So lunchbox notes are pretty popular. A lot of people are searching for them. It doesn't seem like they have as many listings as you would think. So this is an unsaturated but high volume search niche. So we're gonna go into Canva. We're gonna make some of these lunchbox notes. So I'm gonna go to Canva. Now I'm gonna create a design and go to Flyer Portrait Eight and a Half by Eleven. And let me zoom in a little bit so we can see better. I'm going to go to chat GPT and I'm going to have it write some kids jokes. All right, 20 jokes for, for kids. Any simple jokes for kids. So these are the jokes. And on the back of the card, it has the, the answer. I just love telling Brian jokes. Like, we have so much fun together with our jokes. And, and Brian likes knock-knock jokes the best. So I'm gonna, I think I might do some knock-knock jokes, too. So write 20 knock-knock jokes for kids. I'm sure you know what a knock knock joke is. It's when you go knock knock who's there? You go banana. Banana who? Knock knock who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock knock who's there? Orange. Orange you. Orange you glad I didn't say banana? Like he loves that one. He thinks it's so funny. Like there it is. Oh that's orange. It's not the banana one. Yeah there it is. Banana split. So ice cream. What is some of it? But with knock-knock jokes, I don't think they'll be suitable for the notes because you gotta have somebody else there, you know, answering the joke. So I'm just gonna go stop generate. We'll just use these jokes here. I just thought, I just wondered if ChatGPT would write knock-knock jokes. Looks like they will. So I'm gonna say, write the simple jokes. Write the, the sim simple jokes. Joke, joke, joke questions by themselves. Yeah, so these are the, the jokes by themselves, all the answers. And then I'm going to have it write the answers by itself. And let me know down below what's your favorite joke. Let's see if I can I could get it. I love jokes. Now write the the answer by itself. And these are like really fun for kids because kids just love jokes. Like I sure love jokes a lot myself, you know. So this would be a great product that would really make parents happy and make the kids happy too. So it's a win-win situation. So let's go over to Canva and let's go call it lunch, lunch box, box notes, jokes, printables. 
So I already have made this view settings, show margins and add rules and guides. It just really helps because you can add guides to, to it. You can add guides to your project by just clicking and dragging over. Like we can find the center and stuff. You know, it's a lot easier than having to guess. And let's go to shapes. And then let's go to this shape and color it white. And then go to the black and color this black. And then adjust the border spacing so it's like two and then make it like a dotted. Because that means they can cut. And we're going to uh, adjust. Let me go down. I'm going to hold down shift to keep the shape. And go alt. And then I'm going to go here and increase it. I'm going to go here. And I want all these to fit on the page. So I'm going to just adjust it like this. So they all fit. And now we have our joke template and we can go over here and make a heading lunch box note jokes Just jokes that way they know what, what this is We can like just doesn't matter what the font is. Let me see. I'll just like Alice might be good. Yeah, you know, just just a simple font. And these are the jokes. And now we can go and get some text. I'm going to get some text here, and I'm going to also make this like a kid font. Let me see, was there some font that would look good for kids? Like, hey, gotcha, might be cute. Yeah, I like that one, it's fun. Might make this also, hey, gotcha, so it matches. This looks fun, like a fun font for kids. And it's centered already. And then let's get now let's um, add this to all the boxes. Now I'm going to go back to ChatGPT and I'm going to copy the questions. And I'm going to go to Elements and Graphics and I'm going to search Scarecrow. Scare crow. Yeah, to have like a picture of a scarecrow. I'm going to go back to chat GPT and say, why was the math book sad? And then I'm going to look for a math book. Math book. And so you just put the picture of what the joke's about. And then why, why did the bicycle stand on its own? And then put look for bicycle. So it's really easy to get this done. You know, it's real simple. It's going really fast. And then, how do you catch a squirrel? And you're probably thinking, well, why don't you use Bolt Create? Well, Bolt Create will only do one section of text. Like, it won't do multiple sections of text for each page. Because I've tried to get it to work, but it just doesn't. Like, it only does one section of, pa one section of text a page. Okay, it won't do six sections like what we're doing because we would, we would need it to generate six sections of text but it just won't do it so that's why like i just can't use it so we got to do it ourselves and it doesn't take that long anyway it's just real simple and then we got why well, was the computer cold And we'll search 
computer. Okay, now we can do the answer, so let's um, duplicate the page jokes answers because this is the back so they will print it and then they will it will go front to back so then this will be the back of each thing so let's do the answers now Too tired, that's cute. And it's also fun for kids because they can have an ice break. One if they don't know one of the other students in the class, then they can have a joke to tell and it gives them like an icebreaker. To tell that they're to tell somebody that they might not know, so it's really cute, you know, for kids. So this is the answers, and we can go make another duplicate, and we can just call this the jokes, and we can get more jokes. So go back up here, we can get the seventh joke. I'm just I'm just clicking a bunch, and then it's like, so how do you organize a space party? So Astro, I think an astronaut would be good for this picture. And we just, uh, we can just click, click and drag it in there. And then we can delete all the other images we already have. And then what do you call a sleeping ball? We can get a uh, um, ball. Then why did the tomato turn red? And Canva has a commercial use license <laughs> for its images. You just can't resell the images by themselves. You have to put the images in a product. You can review their license yourself. It's at the footer of, of the site. In case you still don't know. So let's right, find golfer. <clears throat> and then we can see why the bicycle find its way home. We can just um, get the bicycle again and put it here because this one's talking about a bicycle as well. And what do you call a fish with no eyes? <clears throat> like that's cute. It's kind of like flounder <clears throat> from the Little Mermaid. <clears throat> then we again we could do the answers that you know. Yeah, so you can just keep doing this. It's not it doesn't take that long. just copy and paste in and finding an image so this is kind of a no-brainer no and it, it sells really good it seems like people are making a lot of good money selling these and it's really simple you can even use this for your own kid you can just make it in Canva and then that way you don't have to buy anything like so there's a lot of potential for this product I think it's like it's really good I might use some of these for Brian like, because um, he takes his lunch to school. And you see, uh, with no eyes, it's just FC, <laughs> FSH. <laughs> so funny. Let me make this bigger. Because it's just so small. There. There we go. Makes more sense. 
Okay, so now we got 12 Lunchbox Joke Notes. And then you could also go to Share, Download, you save it as like a, a PDF standard or you can do a PDF print. And then you download. Then I think I have the position wrong. Like I think I need to reverse the position. So what you would do is just group this and group this. And you would just change the position because my back this would print on this side because I, I was just confused. So make sure you do that. So, um, so again, you just group this one and group this one. And you would have this one over here. And that way it prints this one on the back. Like that's something that I had wrong. I just wasn't thinking straight. Okay, there we go. So that will be the answer. So it would print that way when it, when it turns around, like this one would be on the back. Well, thanks so much for watching. And please make sure to subscribe down below to be part of the Crafty family. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you liked it and what you want to see next. Well, have a great day. Goodbye.